hello i don't even know if it's morning or noon i think it's just coming up on noon because i'm gonna leave my hotel i'm in london hello surprise i'm kind of in a rush because i'm kind of running late i'm gonna go leave my hotel and go have lunch with my friend alexi anyway we're gonna grab lunch he's in the middle of a photo shoot and then i'm gonna walk around london a little bit I came to London. I'm here for one day and then tomorrow I go on to Oxford. So let's go. I'm already running late. I'm gonna try to get a cab. What's up guys? I have basically completely failed to vlog my first day back in London in what seems like ages. When I came over to the UK in July to go to Brighton for a week, I thought a lot about coming to London, but to me like London feels a lot like New York in, in terms of intensity and I'm like sort of like it's inconvenient to get around, like it's so big. So I kind of avoid London usually when I come to England. But this time we're going through London to do our other, the second part of our trip, which I will show you coming up. But um, yeah, I, I guess I got like really excited. I went to go meet my friend Alexi for lunch. I see him every time I come to London. So it's been a couple of years since I've seen him. And he's just, he's someone I've known for like, God, like 16 years at this point. And he's just one of the best people I've ever met. So it was really great to catch up with him. He was in the middle of a photo shoot. So we just had a chance to like get a really quick lunch. We went to the Hoxton in Holborn, which is this totally like buzzy restaurant. Um, it's like a great lunch place. It's very casual. I ate a hot dog, um, but it was like a fancy hot dog from Australia. Um, and then I decided to do this walk that I used to do all the time when I was doing my master's here. My college was on Charing Cross Road. Um, so Central St. Martins used to be in two different buildings. One on, I think it was Shaftesbury Avenue. I can't remember exactly where the other building was, but the fashion office, the fashion design department was on Charing Cross Road. And so that's where I would go to school like every day, every single day and go for lectures and go for seminars. And like, I would go to the library there and stuff but that has since become that has since become luxury condos as what that that's what happens in these big cities is if you have really prime real estate oftentimes you know it's hard to maintain it so if it, it becomes something for rich people um but I used to walk all the time just to like clear my head from Charing Cross Road which is near Tottenham Court Road all the way down to Selfridges and I would go into like shops just to see what was going on because when I was a student like it was important to see what all the design designers were doing and you don't have access to showrooms and stuff when you're a student so the only way to see clothes and to like touch them and to like experience designer work firsthand was to actually go to the stores which I think is something that is really important for people to do today if you're interested in, in fashion is to actually go to the stores like you have to touch the clothes you have to like you have to try the clothes on you have to understand the clothes by feeling them I'm sorry my camera's falling down anyway so i redid that walk today after i met my friend alexi i walked all the way from holborn holborn i walked all the way from holborn to selfridges and i went to a bunch of shops i went to selfridges and on the way back i walked down south molton street i went to browns which is one of the best stores in London, um, they have such a great buy. They also just recently opened a store in LA. I think it's, is it in Fred Siegel or something? I, they like literally just opened this week, which is really cool. So I went to Brown's and then I went down Bond Street to see like what they have. The shipment schedule for Europe is a little bit ahead of the American shipment schedule. So I think they have some things in that we don't have in the States. And in the States, like for example, I think we still have some like pre-collection and capsule collection things in stores and they don't have them here. So I did that. And then I went to go to the Dover Street Market and I call it in my head, it's the new Dover Street Market, even though it's been on Haymarket for like three or four years. I mean, camera just won't stay like straight today. So even though it's been on Haymarket for like three or four years, I still call it in my head the new one because when I was living here, that's when Dover Street Market opened and it opened on Dover Street and that's why it's called Dover Street Market. But now it's not on Dover Street anymore. Um, and so I went to check it out. It's not that different than the old space. It 
does feel like an, an office building it has this really cool wooden staircase that like goes it's like a spiral staircase that goes to the center of the building and it's three floors like in new york the one is pretty the one in new york is pretty big and the feeling of both is totally different i've also been to the one i've been to, i think i went to the one i went to the one in shanghai i think it was shanghai yeah so i went to the one in shanghai or was it beijing well, I went to one of them, or may I, I may I may have gone to both. I don't know if they are in both cities, but I did go to one in either Shanghai or Beijing, and that also had a totally different feel and a totally different vibe. Um, it's a really cool retail concept, so if you have a chance to go see a Dover Street Market, then I would definitely recommend it. And then after Dover Street Market, I came back to the hotel, and I've been doing work all afternoon. So I'm technically working on this trip. This is a work trip. Yeah. So it's been kind of busy keeping up with all the emails while I'm running around. Oh, do you like this lipstick? This is a lipstick I picked up at Selfridges. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Stoned Rose. It's a little bit orangey in the light. It's not as orangey in the container. And I was looking for a warm, neutral, I don't know what that noise is. I was looking for a warm, neutral lipstick for fall, and I think I kind of like it. I kind of like, I like how it's a very, very neutral color, but it does something for my skin tone. I also got the Flawless Airbrush Powder, which I like, but I think right now, like I haven't slept in 24 hours. So right now it's like very touch and go. Like it's hard to tell like what's working and what's not working. Anyway, I'm gonna head out in about 20 minutes to get a drink with our travel group. And then I think we're going to dinner. And then tomorrow is a full day of exciting stuff. So I'm gonna combine all these vlogs together and hopefully it'll present like a more cohesive picture of what I've been doing. All right. So I am staying at the Sofitel St. James in London for one night. This is my room. I just took a red eye in so I'm exhausted. You can see I'm so excited to be able to check in to be honest. It's like 9.30 in the morning and usually you can't check in until 3. So I'm glad I got into my room. But as you can see like this is like a pretty standard London hotel room. Like London hotel rooms especially in the center they can be small unless you get a suite. So you can see basically the entire room just from like coming in the door. Um, so when you walk in, this is the main room and there's a bed here. I think this is a king size bed. Um, there are two desk tables. That's a dressing area with like a little bench underneath. I don't know if you can see underneath there's a little bench. And then over here, there's another nightstand and closets. And the closets are actually really beautiful. They're studded. In here is the bathroom. The bathroom feels like a classic like city bathroom, very chic. Hi, look at me, exhausted, red eye. Um, the shower is beautifully appointed, and what I love about England is that they really care about baths. So most of the time, if you have a tub in your bathroom in a hotel, it's a deep soaking tub like this. Here they use Hermes toiletries. That's very chic, obviously, Hermes, woo. And the toilet vestibule is here. And there's some art. What is this? I think this is a phone. I think there's a speakerphone by the toilet. That's great. Out in the main room, it's basically just this room. The window actually looks directly into someone else's apartment. <laughs> so I closed the blind when I first came in. And then over here on the right is a small alcove with a television and desk. And that is where I'll put my luggage. Good morning. It is day two in London. Today I am checking out of the hotel really early because we're gonna go on a tour of the chambers at Buckingham Palace, which I know sounds like super touristy, but I have never been in to Buckingham Palace. They opened it up to tourists way after I left London, um, after grad school. So I'm actually pretty excited. I'm wearing my Simone Rocha shirt and calm pants and supergas because we're gonna be doing a lot of walking. Um, I've packed, so I had to like repack my suitcase because we're gonna put the suitcases in the car to be ready to go 
I'm pretty psyched. I got up really early this morning to do some work, so I'm hoping I make it downstairs in time to grab a coffee at least, or maybe something to eat before we leave. Let's go. What's up guys? I've arrived in Oxford. I'm a little bit shiny. We've been on the bus all day. This morning we went to Buckingham Palace, then we went to the v &A, then we went to lunch, then we were here. The traffic was wild because it was Friday afternoon, but we were finally here. I'm staying at the Old Parsonage Hotel, which is a hotel I've never stayed at. But my friend Alex's parents used to stay here sometimes when they visited him at Oxford when we were students. So let's take a look around my room. It is the top floor room. It is in a beautiful old stone house on Banbury Road, about like five or 10 minutes walk from the center. And yeah, it's really cute. Check it out. So here is the doorway. You can see that like the archway for the door is actually very low. I'm five foot six and I can get through it without grazing my head, but anyone taller. <laughs> so coming into the room, it is a pretty large room actually. And as soon as you walk in, there's a closet with a beautiful like full coffee and tea set, a mini bar with complimentary, hello, those are my sneakers, um, with complimentary water. How do I open this? with complimentary water and chilled glasses, and also chocolate, so important. And there's also a closet with hangers. When you come into the room, there's a little sitting area here to the right. I was just filling out my hotel registration there and a separate desk in the corner over there. I guess it's a door that may go to an adjoining room. I'm not really sure, but here is my room. It is actually pretty big by Oxford, like sort of quaint in a house hotel standards. The old parsonage is really nice. It's considered one of the best hotels in Oxford and it's owned by the same man as the old bank hotel, which is a slightly more conventional and modern luxury hotel in the center. On the night table, there is a series of short stories specially printed. So this is the Mogford Prize for food and drink writing. Wow, I think they must have Googled me and so they know that I care about food and wine. So they put all these like special food and drink things, stories on my nightstand for me to read, I guess before I go to bed. Which I think it's a really, really nice touch. And then here is a clock radio that I guess you can also play your own music on. Now the bathroom is really special. Check out that giant, giant soaking tub and it is claw footed. This is goals. I love these toilets. They have these ultra modern toilets with the tank is like concealed inside of the box. I think it's really elegant. And here is the walk-in shower with the rain shower head. They also have two sinks, which you know I like super love. And the toiletries they use here are from Noble Isle. I also love that the bathroom has a window. That's like such a luxury. It looks out actually onto a parking lot. So it's very quiet and very private. So yeah, I am here in Oxford just for a couple of days before flying back on Sunday. This is a very short trip to England for me, but I really wanted to come back even though I was only in Brighton just like six weeks ago. Um, we have a couple of hours before dinner. So I'm gonna run into town and see if I can go to Westgate and like run around a little 
you know I love my British high street shopping, which I need to get like a dose of every so often. Um, so I'm gonna do that, and then first I'm gonna check my work email, just to, just make sure that like nothing bad is happening in the office, or yeah. All right, so let's go to town. Good morning from Oxford. This morning I woke up pretty early and I went out to do a little shopping, got some underwear and socks from Marks and Spencer. I went to Bravissimo because this, I think, the Oxford Bravissimo is actually my favorite one. I've been to ones in Brighton and in London, but this one, they're like the nicest and they have the like best stuff in stock. I went there, um, bought a sports bra, very exciting. I tried on some dresses, but it didn't really suit me. Um, and now I'm back in the hotel very briefly just like collecting my stuff because this morning we are heading to High Clare Castle which is where they film Downton Abbey. I really don't know what to expect. I'm pretty psyched. I've never been to High Clare Castle and it's about like an hour's drive from here so we're gonna get going right now. This morning it was raining but I looked at the weather report and it says it's not raining in Newbury which is the town that's closest to High Clare. I don't know, fingers crossed that I'm not gonna take my raincoat with me. This morning I went out and I wore my raincoat. It was just like hot and sweaty, it was gross. I think there's also, some of the actors from Downton Abbey will be giving a talk today. Um, High Clare is, this is, I think this is like the last event at High Clare, right before they close down to shoot the Downton movie. So it's pretty exciting to get to go now. I don't know, I know I'm rambling because I don't really know what's gonna happen today, so let's just go see. Good morning, guys. It is my last day-ish in Oxford. I am packing up, and I'm gonna take my stuff down to the front desk. I'm, my flight's not until tonight around seven, so I have like a good four-ish hours to hang out in the city. I think I'm just gonna get some lunch because I'm so hungry. I didn't wake up in time to have breakfast. Um, yeah, so I am ready to go. I've packed up the hotel room, and yeah, I'm gonna head out. This has been such a disjointed vlog and that's why I mashed all three or four days together because there are some points where I was just like, I don't even know what to film and what to show you guys. So I apologize for how mishmash this thing is, but thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time.